Hello Inkers and Gamers, um, this is Mr. Dead Ink and today I'll be doing another um, how to make a comic book tutorial basically. And I'll be talking about in-betweens or fillers. Um, when I first showed off this comic book, this was my first page. Um, I pretty much got one chapter done. And um, during those chapters, you know, I kind of you know, read back through each page, back and forth, back and forth, until I um, figured out, okay, where do I want to add, and in between. Oh, by the way, that's my daughter somewhere over there. There you go. Lexi, say hi to the camera. Be famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but back to the thing. So, in-betweens. And, um, in-betweens can be in the beginning and in the end. Um, Lexi. So... I decided to add another intro, a different intro. This I'm still keeping this page, but I added an uh, in-between or uh, basically an add-on um, to the beginning. Um, this basically um, describes your setting more and describes what's going on in the background more. I decided, I guess I want to add, let the people know a little bit more what's going on in the world. Um, like right here, in-betweens, they're very important to your story. It'll make it basically... These are the terms I use, um, I don't know if who else uses these terms, but when I'm reading a story, sometimes I might find the words are chop. I mean, the story is choppy, like, or chunky. I, that's the best way I can explain it. Um, I'll give you, a, like, a, a little de a definition, I guess, no. A description, no. What the fucking word? Sorry, sorry guys, pretty late right now, so I um, can't think too straight. Uh, a example, there we go. I'll give you an example of what a choppy page is. So let's say my main character, Mr. Dead Ink, is shooting at somebody. And he's like, I'm going to kill you. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know it, I go to a page where you see a different character. Like, making out with a monkey. You know? Something like that. Some crazy random shit. Um, you're missing that page... That in between page that shows you what goes on f between Mr. Deading shooting that monster to that other person making out with that monkey. So that's basically what in betweens are. And sometimes they're just like added into moments where they're not needed too much. Like you can go on without adding that in between, but it'll just make it run way smoothly. So in betweens make your story basically go from choppy to smooth. Like right here. So I had Mr. Deading tell this guy. Uh, there's no time to cry. Then I have it go, like, the next page was, um, basically a sister saying, we're all gonna die. And I kind of, so basically it went from, like, this fighting scene, they're all shooting monsters, he's like, don't cry, to this. But it happened really fast. Um, you guys will have to read it to understand it. Um, how, to me, like, I kept, it just bugged me. So, I had an in-between where he's like, no time to cry, and then you see him, like, because he tells him, uh, right here, he tells him, hey, um, are you going to let me do all the work? Or And I feel like adding in more, like an in-between somewhere here, too, still, I don't know. But anyways, so he's telling him, you know, are you going to let me do all the work? And then, it goes to this page, and then, bam, someone dies. So... I basically made an in-between where you see him actually, you know, he's like, when is there time to cry? And then he, you see him getting a little bit into action, like he's shooting the monsters after Mr. Deading tells him, you know, are you going to just let me do all the work or are you going to fight? So that was an important in-between. I added another in-between, um, like right here. I really don't want to ruin the story for you guys. But uh, um, let's say a squirrel found a peanut. Next thing you know it, he's fighting with the dog that tried to take his peanut. So, in between, I drew how the dog took his peanut. So, in between, they're very important. So, you know, when you're writing your story, just always go back and look through your pages and see what you can add to make the, the flow of the story go perfectly. You don't want it to be too choppy or chunky. You don't want, you want to tell people how that dog try to take that squirrel's peanut. You don't want to just be like, hey, I found a peanut, and next you know I'm fighting the dog. Alright? So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, uh, comment, you know, all the other good shit.